Hello guys and welcome back to another cryptocurrency related video. In our last video, we talked about the Keep Key hardware wallet, but in this video, we're gonna be focusing on software wallets. These are wallets that you download off the internet and you just run on your desktop home computer. So this is the wallet that I use. It's called Exodus. I'm just gonna hit enter here and load up my wallet. So there you go, the wallet's all loaded up. Uh, the first part we're gonna be talking about is the portfolio tab. Now on this tab here, you can see all of the different amounts in dollar value and percentages of the assets that you hold in your wallet. Now, this is really good for just overseeing your overall holdings and where everything stands. And of course, this adjusts with the value fluctuations in cryptocurrency. So you'll be able to see the changes in value every single time you log in. Now, this is not the only assets that this wallet supports. There are actually quite a few assets that you can turn on here, you can toggle them on, and then they will just show up in your portfolio tab. And while we're in the settings here, turning off Gollum, I'll talk about localization. This lets you change the currency that the uh, dollar value that you see is displayed in. You can also change how your wallet looks, so I'll change it to honeycomb. So this has changed the background texture here. So the next tab on the left is wallet. This is the core functionality of this software. This lets you select from all of your different uh, assets that you have enabled in your Exodus wallet. Um, you can go ahead and send, you enter a Bitcoin address here, you can enter a Bitcoin amount, so two Bitcoin, that's 38 grand right now, um, or you can enter the dollar value and it will automatically convert that to Bitcoin at the current market values. So down here, you can see how much of a Bitcoin network fee you'll be paying. Now this doesn't go to Exodus, the company, this goes towards the people who are verifying the transactions on the Bitcoin network. Um, and then you can also see your remaining balance after you send this uh, amount of Bitcoin. So it's the same on all of these tabs. You can go over to receive and you can see a receive address. So this is if you want to receive funds uh, in this type of currency, you're gonna wanna make sure that you uh, send the correct receive address to whoever to whoever is trying to send you some kind of cryptocurrency asset. One nice feature is you have a copy button here. You also have a QR code, and every time you receive uh, cryptocurrency to that address, uh, it'll actually generate a new one for you. Now this is for security reasons in case you don't want, say people you sent money to or sent you money in the past tracking your transactions. And it gives you a little bit more anonymity when it comes to receiving uh, cryptocurrency. So the next tab over here is the exchange tab. Now this uses a website called shapeshift.io, which actually uses Ethereum smart contracts um, to securely and uh, reliably exchange uh, different cryptocurrency assets with other users who are using the same platform. So I could choose Litecoin and say I want some Ethereum. I could sell uh, exchange half of my Litecoin for this amount uh, of Ethereum. And it of course tells you the Canadian dollar value there. You can kind of see uh, how much of a fee you'll be paying for doing that exchange. Now these exchanges can take from anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours, depending on the cryptocurrency that you're exchanging, especially for Bitcoin, it's gonna be uh, quite a bit longer uh, because of that verification period that Bitcoin has. Now the backup tab that I'm not gonna click on just allows you to write down a secret key. So if your computer crashes or if you lose access to this wallet for some reason, you can still back it up on to another computer or reinstall Exodus and get your funds back uh, visibly into your portfolio. So the last thing I'm gonna point out here is the help tab. Now in here they have most of the frequently asked questions sent to their support page. Um, and you can also see the uh, owners or co-founders of the Exodus wallet here. You can also live chat uh, in their Slack channel or access support. It's really quite nice for the new user to the cryptocurrency space. So to conclude here, I would definitely recommend this software uh, desktop wallet to most of my friends. I have a few friends that actually use it and uh, receive Bitcoin payments from me quite often. Um, it's really easy to set up and it's very user friendly for anyone who's not super duper into cryptocurrency. 
This wallet is also pretty secure as it doesn't ever send your private key information over the internet. Everything is stored locally on your machine. Now, this is a downside because you can't sync your wallet across multiple devices. Um, the wallet is simply uh, only on a single device and will not sync cross-platform with uh, any other type of device like a phone. Exodus is also pretty good because they do updates very often, like every two or three days, security updates, they'll add um, bug fixes and add different assets to the platform uh, to keep up with the ever-growing cryptocurrency space. Now, some things I would like to see added is like a pin verification while you're sending transactions, because once the wallet is open, uh, Transactions can go through without any other sort of verification process, and that's kind of sketchy if you say get hacked uh, while the wallet is open on your desktop like it is right now. Perhaps, I'm not sure if this is possible, but some kind of two-factor authentication like uh, Google Authenticator. So when you're typing in your password and logging in, it will check uh, online for that extra little code, that extra piece of hardware to, uh, you know, just add that one more layer of security to get into your private keys and your cryptocurrency assets. And the one last thing that I would love to see added is an advanced mode so that more experienced users can edit uh, the priority on the fee for uh, say Bitcoin transactions. Right now, if I wanted to send any Bitcoin anywhere, it would be about 25 Canadian dollars uh, in transaction fees and that's not adjustable. So I just haven't touched my Bitcoin on here for a while. But anyway guys, if you'd like to check out this software, I'll have a link in the description to their website. It's a very clean software, probably the cleanest in the industry, and I would highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. If you hated it, leave a thumbs down, because why the hell not? And leave a comment if you have any questions, I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.